hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Ada so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create a baby headband slash turban using um, polyester fabric that I used to make a dress previously for my baby this headband was actually inspired by another youtuber I think her name is Andrewisha or Andrewisa um, I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it right but yeah it was inspired by her I just came across her video and I loved it so I decided to make my own version so guys um if you want to know how to make this headband please keep on watching this video i'm feeling high i will be using one long rectangle that i have cut out to create this headband so the length of this rectangle is 21 inches which is my baby's round head measurement plus 3 inches while the width is 8 inches as you can see I have cut out 3 separate pieces already I have divided that rectangle into 3 separate pieces now the smaller pieces measure um, about 3 inches each while the larger piece measures about 14.5 inches so now i'm just simply going to fold all the pieces in half the larger piece and the smaller pieces i'm going to fold them in half just as you can see and i'm going to use um gum stay or paper gum stay to um make the larger fabric a little bit more stiff so i'm going to go ahead and take it to my sewing machine and sew all through as you can see i have sewn the edges so i'm going to turn them over now i am done turning over as you can see it looks like this when turned over So the next step is to create kind of like gathers on the largest piece. To create those gathers, I'm just going to simply fold it in half and hold the, mid the middle part or the center of that fold and then try to create prints. And then I am going to use my basic needle and thread to sew through that um, those prints that I have created this is to hold it together so that even when I am not holding it with my hand it will still be you know printed so I'm just making sure that I secure it tightly so that it doesn't come out or come off when I'm done now i'm going to cover that thread that i used to sew the center part together i'm going to cover it using one of the smaller pieces of rectangle uh, that i sewed and turned over so we're just going to hold it like this and twist it a bit and then place it on that midpoint that you have already sewn together with your thread and needle it should look something like this and I'm going to take it to my machine and sew it to hold it down and secure it more tightly. So after sewing it should be like this. I'm just going to use a scissors to cut off excess fabric. After cutting you should have something like this. So now that I have this I'm just going to turn it over. So when you are sewing make sure you don't sew too tightly so that you can actually turn it over when uh, you are done cutting off the excess fabric so i'm going to turn mine over to create a clean neat and nice finish so this is what it looks like that i've turned it over completely i'm going to get a four inch elastic and use it to complete the headband so in the last strip that we made we are going to put this four inch piece of 
elastic inside I'm using a bobby pin to help me put my elastic into the uh, piece of fabric properly you can use a safety pin for this as well I did not have a safety pin so I had to improvise The whole point of the bobby pin is to help you pull the elastic when it's inside the fabric to help you pull it out i'm going to use an office pin to hold the edge of the fabric that's to hold the elastic to the other edge of the fabric while i try to pull it out of the other end well now that is out it should look something like this i'm going to use my machine to sew both the two edges down so i have sewed it now this is what it looks like after i have sewed it so i'm going to go ahead and attach it to the larger part of the turban or headband so to do that i'm going to face the right side of this um, elastic piece that I'm going to make it face me. I'm going to place the right side up facing me. And then I am going to simply fold over that large headband on the elastic piece. And then I'm going to use a pin to hold it down securely. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other side or for the second side of the headband. I'm also going to fold it over like this. And then use a pin to secure it. So as you can see, I have sewed it with a machine. After securing it with a pin, I took it to my machine and sewed it. And the next thing is just to pull after sewing it. And your headband is basically complete. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't.